yeah, babe. <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. That's the music. Welcome to Bobby Lycus Car Clinic here on paltalk.com and uh, our other global outlets across the the globe. I got to tell you, there are some very interesting events going on in your life, in my life, and it has to do uh, with uh, the global use. That would be the use of fuel in New York, California, Alabama, the UK, and all countries across the world. Uh, a news flash for you. Battery electric cars and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles both provide zero emissions driving, but the battery electric cars uh, are different from the hydrogen fuel cell cars. And here's how. Primarily, a battery electric automobile costs about twenty to $50,000. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, what is that noise? That's a backup truck. Hey, we've got yeah, a truck. truck that, how cool is to, that? Uh, empty the barrels. Uh, 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 folks, you wouldn't believe this, but as we speak, just outside the studio here, Bobby Lycus Car Clinic Studio, uh, it is located inside a 15,000 square foot automotive service facility. So when you and I talk about cars or emissions or uh, fuel cell vehicles or ethanol or plug-in cars, the, the, the newest thing on the block, uh, some 50, 60 hours a week, we're in the trenches daily in our 15,000 square foot automotive service shop. So there are two websites that we operate and we are proud to uh, share with you. One is, as you see in the room, carclinicnetwork.com which is our radio entertainment side of our business, and the other that, that really brings the credibility to me to offer to you advice and information that you can use that will impact your daily life and save you money, keep your car in your garage and out of the service garage, and increase your MPG and or performance of the car that you have. That's really what I'm here to do for you today. Uh, that service site is Car Clinic service.com. So when you have an opportunity, you're welcome to go there. There are some unique... Uh, features on both sites, uh, and I say unique, you, you, I don't know if you define the word unique, and, and, and truly, Car Clinic Network is unique in as much as we have a, a full digital broadcast facility that uh, the floor where I'm sitting right now weighs 10,000 pounds, the door into the studio weighs about 900 pounds, the door in its frame, and so when I walk in, I can hear a pin drop. It is absolutely a, a place that you'd want to go. Uh, for me, it's a place that I love to be and share with you information, and it's a place that you might want to go for some peace and quiet. Or as, as, my, uh, as my grandfather used to say when I was a young lad, uh, and depending on what mood he was in, uh, I would bring friends over to, uh, to the house, and uh, my good friend Bill, who, who was a musician, We'd walk in the door, and my good friend Bill would say, Hey, Mr. Weaver, how are you? That was my grandfather's name, Weaver. And uh, if my grandfather was in a good mood, he'd say, Hi, Bill, fine. If he wasn't, uh, he'd just say, Hmm. And uh, he was the kind of guy that, as he said, he wanted peace and quiet and damn little of that. And I'll, I'll never forget that so long as I live. So uh, if you're looking for peace and quiet, you're not going to find it today. If you'd like to ask a question or if you'd like to pose a scenario or if you'd like to uh, make a comment on some of this information I'm about to share, please hold your palm up. I hope that you've had an opportunity to test your uh, site today. Reading on and sharing with you about battery electric automobiles, I don't, want to, I don't want you to, as I said, read into this that I'm trying to tell you what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do, but I'll do. I will share the facts. The cost of a battery-powered car is twenty to fifty thousand dollars. The fuel cost today for a hundred miles is two dollars and fifty cents. That's a battery-powered car. Per 100 miles, $2.50. It's the most efficient energy usage. It can be directly fueled with renewable electricity, wind generated, solar generated, geothermally generated. So battery-powered cars are in our future, and you can, you can go to the bank and bet that GM, Ford, Chrysler, and all of the foreign manufacturers – uh, are working behind the scenes on battery technology and how to bring uh, to their lineup. Now think about it, their lineup. It's like when you go to the the, the, the store, you, you go for a loaf of bread, 
or milk, but you come out with a half a dozen items, or you go to the grocery store and you come out with a hundred items, but how many items are there for you to choose from? Literally hundreds of thousands of items on the med line alone. Everything from laxatives to to aspirins uh, to eye drops to cotton swabs. I mean, there's a there's a, a, a 50 or 60 feet of counter space, and 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 just. Uh, shelves laden with items, and that's called their lineup. So you buy, and so the the OEMs need a lineup. I mean, if Ford made a Focus, oh wait, they do. Okay, <laughs> if Ford made only the Focus, then they would have a very limited uh, number of buyers. So they gotta have the Expeditions, they gotta have the SUVs, they gotta have the battery-powered cars, GM has the Tahoe, but they also have coming out the Volt, which is going to be one of these twenty dollars to $50,000 electrical cars, hopefully by 2010, and that's just around the corner. Now, let's shift gears. Hydrogen. Let's look at hydrogen-powered automobiles. It requires a massive change, massive being the key word, in infrastructure being the second key word. So that's really, really important. It also requires like four times more electricity to drive a mile compared to a battery electric vehicle. The, 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 the hydrogen fuel cell and hydrogen fuel cell technology is not ready for commercialization. It's uh, the unresolved storage and transport issue. And here's uh, an example. And recently, and you can go online on our site and see this uh, interview that we had. We had a gentleman here from Ford Motor Company, Brett Hines, talking about they're designing an engine, by the way, to use ethanol. Fancy that. And I'll tell you about that as well. If you're interested in that, uh, I'll tell you whether you are or not, because they're going to make them. It's called EcoBoost engines. EcoBoost. And th that's, again, that's part of their lineup. It's part of an umbrella. It's like uh, Kimberly Clark. I mean, if you go to to Europe, and 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 you've never been to a little town in Italy, Sorrento, uh, uh, Positana, that with the Malfi Coast, which is my my favorite place to be, uh, second to this microphone in life, and it really is. Uh, and you're you're there in a in a country that's really strange, and and you walk into the facility to take a bio break, and you look on the wall, and I, I mean everything's a little bit, you know, Italian, right? But you look on the wall up there, and it has Kimberly Clark wipes. So the napkins come from Kimberly Clark. Under Kimberly Clark's global business, which is billions of dollars with a B, also comes the Blockit car cover fabric line, blockitcovers.com. Why do 